Hi guys! So today I'm here to talk about my favourite skincare products. It's a question I get asked a lot, what I use on my skin, and so I thought I'd do a video to show you my skincare products. Supposing I've had a full day wearing makeup, so I get home and um, I use my beloved Lozo Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser to remove the makeup that I've got on my face. I absolutely adore this. I use this and only this to remove everything from my face. Waterproof mascara, um, primers, anything that I've got on. And I only need a couple of pumps and then I massage it on my face and I remove everything with the, cl with the cloth and it just works wonders. I couldn't recommend this enough. It leaves my skin feeling really soft and clean. So then, after I finish with this, I apply a little bit of this. Now, I think it's pronounced Hydroluron, and this is a very recent purchase. I've heard everyone talking about this, raving, saying it's amazing, so I thought I need to get this. Basically, what this little product does is, it, when you apply it to your face, um, it will penetrate your skin and it will help restore your skin's hydration. So if your skin is feeling dry and dull, it is probably because it's not hydrated enough. So this product works by penetrating your skin. It does say on the bottle that you shouldn't use this instead of a moisturiser, so you should use this alongside with a moisturiser. So you apply this first on your face, only a little bit is enough. Um, and then you follow up with your moisturiser, which is my next skincare product. And it's the Monu Moisture Rich Extra Rich Night Cream. So I use this little cream at night. And this is one that's particularly for dry, very dry or dehydrated skin. I've got dry skin, very dry skin. I get dry patches around my nose, around my between my eyebrows and it's just dreadful because you know my makeup doesn't look as good when my skin is not looking hydrated. So this moisturiser is great. I don't generally like rich creams on my face. I like something that makes my skin um, not sticky, just feel as though it's moisturised and that's it. Um, this one, it is quite rich. It is a really rich cream and that's why it's a night cream because I wouldn't be able to wear this on the daytime and feel as though, you know, oh, my face looks sticky or something. In the morning, the results are amazing. When I wake up, my skin feels like I've just been patting it with water all day long. It just looks fresh. It doesn't, I don't see any dry patches. I don't feel any dryness on my skin. So I recommend this. Alongside with this moisturiser, I've been trying the new YSL um, Eye Zone Serum. It's, it's the Forever Youth Liberator um, line, which targets the whole eye zone area. So dark circles, wrinkles, and frown lines. I'm still not sure whether I absolutely adore this. I really like it and I think it has made a difference to my dark circles because I've got really bad dark circles. Not so many wrinkles, so I can't say if it works for wrinkles, but I've got dark circles and this has helped, but it is a really expensive product. I think it's around about 45 pounds so I wouldn't want to say yes definitely go buy this because I am noticing some progress but it's very slow. I want to give it a few weeks before I just go and say to everyone it is amazing go and buy it now you know. Um, I really like it though I, um, alongside with my Monu night cream the two of them are perfect so really good together. Next thing don't forget your lips and I've been using this lip balm by this company called Balmy Bar am I? I don't know. And mine is the... I can't remember what this one is called but I, I will look it up and put it in the down bar for you, for you to see. But it's just a lip balm and it's got SPF 15 in it and I really like it. It smells really good and 
it does the job. So then moving on to morning skincare. So I wake up, wash my face, clean my teeth and everything and I always like to check to see how my skin looks after having used all of these products for the night. I want to know if they worked. So I always look at my skin and, and see, you know, if it's nice looking nice. So after my face is washed and everything, I apply my day cream, which is also a Monu one. Um, and it's also for dry, very dry or dehydrated skin. And this one is the Moisture Rich Collagen Cream. Um, now this one is not as thick as the night cream, cream, which is perfect for the daytime. For me, like I said, I don't like my skin when it, feel, when it feels um, sticky or anything. So this one is perfect. I don't know whether it's the best cream I've ever used, but it is definitely good. Uh, before this one, I used to use the Clarins Hydro Quench Cream for normal to dry skin. And this stuff is absolutely amazing. It is my all-time favourite day cream. But unfortunately I've run out of this and I haven't got round to repurchasing it. So I've been using this one and I'm glad I have because I've discovered something else that is just as good or, you know, um, works well for my skin. But I will definitely repurchase this one as well. So if you if you're looking for a good day cream, I would recommend either one of these two for dry skin obviously. I then move on to my serum again so I put the serum twice a day I put it a, I put it a, a much smaller amount during the day because um, this serum is quite sticky you know you can actually feel the stickiness around your eyes so I put it just a small drop. Now this is a routine for days when I'm not going to put any makeup on my face and I'm just quite happy to have all the good stuff on my skin just working its wonders. When I'm actually putting makeup on my face, I don't like to have that many products on my skin to start with. I find it that after I put all of this, I still have primer, foundation, concealer, all of that to go on my skin, so I don't want my skin to feel overloaded. So instead of these two, I simply use the Monu Lime Smooth and Skin Perfector, which I have written a blog post about it on my blog. It does a great job at smoothing all my dry patches that I said I've got, especially around my nose and here. Um, it makes my foundation not cling to these problematic areas and it just makes my skin look more glowing and fresh and I absolutely love this. So I use this as a primer and as my moisturiser for the day went for days when I'm putting makeup on and that's it so then I follow with my usual makeup that I would wear uh, I think that's about it there's only a couple of things that I wanted to show which are not necessarily something that things that I use every day but they are things that I enjoy using and I think they are good the first one is by Benefit and it's their Moisture Prep Toning Lotion. I really like this. I used it more during the summer because it just makes my skin feel fresh. Um, not so much now that autumn, winter is coming as well, because I don't need my skin to my skin to feel as fresh as I do during summer. So I used this a lot during the summer, and I really liked it. It made my skin feel as though I had an extra layer of of collagen and elasticity so it was just really it was a good feeling and refreshing also for hand cream I absolutely love the Kath Kidston hand cream it's um, delicate blossom it is really good the packaging is cute with all the flowers and then the light blue cap and it smells really nice I've got it on my hands at the moment and I absolutely adore it so I think that's it it's all for my skincare items. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know of any tips that you've got for dry skin, any products that you use that help your skin feel more moisturised. I'm always up for trying new products. Um, and also, I'd like some suggestions on what videos you would like to see next on my channel. Um, as you may know, I've only just started YouTube. I have a blog which I update very often 
um, but I'm a bit stuck for what to do on my YouTube channel so please leave, leave your questions and your comments and your tips below and I'd love to read them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!